All right, I'm going to say something here that's got to be said, and, and I'm going to step on a bit of a soapbox here, but this really kind of grates me. Um, God did not allow this whole coronavirus thing to happen. All right, God is not in absolute control of everything that goes on in the world, and he did not allow this to happen. All right, he's not responsible in any way for this bad stuff that's happening. When you look at the word allow and what it means, it means to give permission to or through neglect or negligence to permit to happen. Okay, that's not who God is. God is not permitting evil. He does not give permission for evil to happen. God is not negligent and allowing evil to happen. This evil that's going on is a result of the fall. I mean, you go all the way back to the Genesis and, and Genesis, God told Adam and Eve that they could, uh, eat of any tree in the whole garden except for one. Uh, he did not permit them to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Yet Adam and Eve broke that restriction. They violated God's uh, authority and ate from the tree anyway. Um, God did not permit them to eat. He specifically forbade them to eat that tree and they did it anyway. So they did it in rebellion. Um, and it wasn't that God permitted it. It wasn't God's, God wasn't negligent in allowing them to eat it. Um, they, he specifically told them not to, he didn't allow it. Um, he forbade it. So they did it anyway. All right. So God does not permit evil. Um, what happened in the garden is that God gave Adam and Eve authority over all the earth. Um, he said, let them have dominion over all the earth. Once God gave that authority to Adam, it was Adam's responsibility to keep things going in a godly direction on the earth. God delegated his own authority to Adam. The trouble is when Adam rebelled and Adam and Eve ate from the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, Adam lost his authority. They were deceived by Satan. Satan deceived them and in the process, Satan took that authority. And the Bible says in the New Testament, the Bible says that, that Satan is the God of this world as a result of that. So that meant that uh, Satan actually had authority over the earth and that caused all kinds of problems, all right, including things like coronavirus, all right? And, and a lot of people will look to Job, they'll look to Job chapter two and say, oh, wait a second, God permits, you know, look what, look what God did in the case of Job. You know, Satan went up and, and, and talked to God and and God permitted Satan to mess with Job. So really, Satan is God's messenger. No, that's not what happened there. When you look at it, basically, if we remember that Satan is the God of this world, because God gave his authority, he delegated his authority over all the earth. He said, Let's, let man have dominion. All right, so God delegated his authority to Adam. Adam abdicated his authority and gave it to Satan and then Satan became the God of this world. And so when we get to Job, what's going on there is that God was protecting Job. God was keeping Job from experiencing some of the nasty effects of the fall because um, God just had favor on him and blessed him. What Satan did was said, look, you're encroaching on my authority. And God said, all right, and he backed off because it was Satan's authority. Satan had that authority because Adam gave it to him, not because God gave it to him, all right? And so it wasn't that God allowed Satan to, to mess with Job. It was that Satan already had that authority because Adam gave him that authority when Adam abdicated his own authority. So. You know, when people say that God is allowing this to happen, I mean, I heard two prominent ministers that I highly respect slip that into their message that God is allowing this. And it's just not true because what that does is it makes God um, an accessory to mass murder. That's not who God is. God's not a murderer. He's not taking people out so that the rest of us will get more intimate with him. That's not who God is. That's not how he operates. God is not the cause of evil. You know, the Bible is very clear that only good and perfect gifts come from God. 
So to say that God is allowing this is making God an accessory because that means that when we say that God allowed this to happen, we're saying that God even gave it explicit permission or through negligence permitted it to happen. And God's not either one of those. God's not the source of evil, he's not accommodating evil, and he's not negligent about evil, all right? All of those things, the permission, the negligence, that's us, man. We're the ones who are allowing it. We're the ones who are permitting it. You know, we created this fallen world, and the thing is, Jesus came, he died on the cross, he was resurrected because he lived a perfect life, um, sinless life. So even though we are all products of this fallen world, Jesus is not. Jesus lived that perfect life, and as a result of that, God gave Jesus back all the authority that he'd originally given to Adam. Jesus actually, the Bible says, go, went and took it from Satan because he, Jesus, lived that perfect life and had the ability to take it back. And then what Jesus did, as Jesus was getting ready to ascend back into heaven, he delegated that authority back to his believers. That authority now belongs to you, it belongs to me as believers in Jesus Christ. So to say that God permitted it, that is a lie from the pit of hell. God did not allow this to happen, we did. And that's a sobering thought. We have a responsibility here as believers to the world around us, to the unbelieving world around us. We have a responsibility to stand up for what is right, to, to represent God truly and accurately, and not slander his character by blaming him as an accessory to this whole horrible thing that's going on in the world. We can change this, but it's gonna require us to humble ourselves and acknowledge our own role in this mess and stop blaming God for it. We are responsible and God's gonna hold us accountable for what we've done with the authority that he's given us. So I just encourage you, learn who God is. And I'm sorry I got so passionate about it, but this one really drives me nuts. Um, learn, learn God's character. He's not the author of bad stuff. He's not permitting bad things to happen to you so that you could learn from them. Uh, I wrote a book about this. It's a quick read. I call it a short read. It's only 50, 51 pages. You can read it in an hour or two. I highly encourage you to get it just to, you know, settle this once and for all in your heart that God is not the author of bad stuff. He's not the one who's permitting this to happen. All right? So, anyway. I'm calming down. I'm enjoying the beautiful scenery. Um, just know that God is good. He's not causing bad things. He's not trashing your world. He's not making your life difficult so that you'll learn a lesson from it. You know, any father who did that to his kids, we would, we would see him as a horrible father, but yet we think that's how God operates? No. God is so much better than even the best father in the natural. So just know that God is good. He is for you, and he did not allow this mess to happen on the earth. We can clean it up. We can fix this when we turn to God, and, and we trust him to, to show up in a miraculous and powerful way. All right? I think I'm going to continue a walk and burn off some of this frustrated energy, and we'll talk to you soon. Enjoy. Bye-bye.